Kathy. This is Sue. This is Hi. Sally. Hi. Nice to meet you. You are the fastest man alive. Yes, you are. You're still the man. You're the bee man. Mr. Bee. The last load of cows, because we shut off two hoses, is in there. Okay. That's Tabor. That's the one that's going to be fostered by yeah, Debbie. By Debbie. Yeah, Amador County. Senior, senior, senior boy. Red try. Uh huh. Nobody came for him. And it's not that she's going to bite anybody. She just will run and run and run away and stay by herself until she is bonded with somebody. Good girl. And see, she's improved. Uh, two years ago, she wouldn't have been doing this. Uh, yeah, I think last time we were here, yeah. she stayed away from us. Yeah. Now well. she's here. Uh, like new. That yeah. must have cost a fortune. No, it cost $2,000. Wow. Yeah. Sheila. Yeah. Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> she's a wiggle butt. No. We're going <laughs> to. Isn't he gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Eight year old. Uh, I don't know. What's the story? Raised with two children, and uh, I had a third child late in life, and she was just a wild child, and he didn't like her, and he nipped at her a couple times. Mm -hmm. I uh, adopted uh, Tucker and Mookie. We were told that they had been found wandering a mobile home uh, park. So in working with Kim, we filled out an application, and she came out and interviewed us, and uh, she approved us to adopt our dogs. So one thing I can say about Kim is she, she's very thorough and very careful. She wants to place her dogs in the best home possible. And by doing that, I think she chooses the best dogs for you. And it's been a great experience. And so since then, I have been coming up here and I've been volunteering for her at the sanctuary. Uh, so I find it very, very relaxing and rewarding and if you'll see through these shots it has a be beautiful panorama here it's very quiet and very relaxing it's so nice to have the volunteers here to help me out with the stuff I mean it's non-stop it is non-stop yes. to maintain this property way out there you can see the snow that little red guy he may be all border collie I don't know is that, but I was gonna he was dumped him. in Stockton and uh, this man kept going by the same spot, you know, on his way to work. And finally he said, you know what, this dog has been abandoned. And so this man took him in and got him neutered, got, his, you know, got him shots, did all the right things. And then called me and said, you know, could you put him on your website? I thought I could find him a good home and I think I need your help. He's really a good dog. He's, He's darling. Good He's a very darling dog. Yeah. Hi, Trampy. Hi, Tramp. that I don't know. I don't know how old she is. She's slowing down. She likes to sleep a lot. Yeah. And she likes the classical music, so we let it play and play and play. Come on, guys. Let me... This morning there was a uh, realtor, I suppose, went to a house, a foreclosed house or empty house, and there was a dog. So Kim got that call. Wow. And so she was on the phone all morning trying yes. to help that dog. Help that dog. Yeah. Yep. Louis G, the dog of my dreams, two piercing blue eyes, a constantly waving white tail, full of energy and spirit that fills one's heart with light. Oh, I would love to have you as my dog, yet I know that you are much too high energy for me. 
Kim is waiting for an endurance runner, regular jogger, or like active person for you. Luigi, you should be in movies, going on tour. You are the dog, Luigi, the stuff that dreams are made of. There is someone out there coming for you. That's my buddy. Oh, that's, that's my first buddy. dog ever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yoga I drove up to Oregon after my ex-husband moved out and I went, I'm getting a dog! I'm getting a dog! <laughs> this dog. He started everything. This is Buddy's place. Aww. This is Buddy's place. <laughs> I rolled a ping pong ball down the down my hallway. He was yeah. seven weeks old. He went down, picked it up, brought it back to me and went Puh, right in front of me. I thought he was a genius. <laughs> I thought you were a genius. Kim got her from uh, the Stanislaus shelter, and apparently she had been in an outdoor kennel 24-7. And uh, when she would get out, they couldn't catch her. Uh, <laughs> she would play the dodge game. Uh -huh. And uh, Macy, come here. And as you can see, she's very difficult to catch. <laughs> but uh, she didn't want to be locked in the kennel outside, so I guess they bred her. And uh, she gave him a litter of puppies, and uh, then they gave her. She waits at the door when I either go in or go out. Um, she goes out front without a leash, and she's fine. Um, she's just, she's an awesome working dog. She has a really strong prey, prey drive. When I have her in the truck, she loads up and she sits right on the floorboards. And so that is her spot. Yeah, two two dogs. She want they want me to take. Ellie, tell about Sadie and her story. I have conflicting stories, but he, she belonged to a to a guy who decided that uh, he had a different lifestyle. I, I'm I'm paraphrasing here, and that uh, she didn't fit in with his new lifestyle. So he brought her up here for adoption. At 12 years old. At 12 years old, she turned 13 in uh, March. And how has she been? Beautiful. She's lovely. Uh huh. The poor guy doesn't know what he gave away. Does he? Huh? Yeah. No. So she was abandoned in a ditch. Yeah, Good. I'm gonna be home. yeah, she was just a puppy, but now I know why she was running around loose. I mean, it's what she lives to do. I think she could live off the land and eat frogs and grubs. She's a such yeah. an intelligent dog. Oh, yeah. She's totally capable. She could uh, be fine. What are you fine. doing? I have nothing, you goofball. Yeah. What about her is that she can be on her own, you know, do her independent. Yeah. Or she can be very affectionate yeah. and a very good house dog. Yeah, she's absolutely. Like she she Come on, Mr. Motor Man. Come on, Mr. Motor Man. Good job, Lily. Good girl. Good girl, Lily. Oh, oh. Woo! Now, he has one some semi-functional eye, and the other one is malformed and he has he's he, he can hear he can hear yeah moto moto he's trying to figure out where i am moto come but he he has poor eyesight okay. very little <laughs>